Hello everyone, it is Rosencords here and welcome to another speed build. So today we are doing something very simple, very nice, and we are just doing a beach house starter home. So I'm a little excited about this one, um, just because it's just a cute little house and I think it's just something I've that's like a little bit different than what I've done before and um, it's sort of like a little like monopoly house but that will kind of like beachy and it's also you know a perfect price and as well I think it only came up to um, 18,000 um, simoleons plus the lot so I'm sure that if you put it on this particular lot it should be fine I hope so anyways because when I like I don't know. I, <laughs> I hope that it is the um, a good price. Otherwise, I apologize. <laughs> but it should be. Um, I did have one of my Sims buy it, so I'm hoping that it is the correct price. But I think when it goes up on the lot, there's like a lot of leg room to. Um, it it gives you everything you need, but there's also a lot of like like a little bit of leg room. I think about like 500 simoleons left, which is not a lot of leg room now that I think about it. But um, it, it has everything you need. It has a bed, it has like a really good bathroom, a really nice kitchen. You've got two couches, you've got a TV, you've got a book stand, you know. And um, I think compared to my mini medieval house, I think this one has a little bit more, um, a little bit more to it than that one. And um, you also have an outside bin and you've also got, you know, your mailbox and stuff like that. So that's always good. And Oh, excuse me, and you also got your indoor bin as well. So, yeah, this was um, a cute little house. So right now I'm just trying to figure out colors. I'd wanted to have, like, blue siding and, like, the white trim and everything. I think the roof could have been a little bit more clean, but um, I was having a bit of trouble with it, and I just didn't want to spend ages trying to fix it or anything. Um, just because I wanted to have that little beach look, and I wanted to have it look long in different areas, but it kind of wasn't working the way I wanted it to. But, um... I think it doesn't look too bad but um yeah and it's it's like I don't know it's got that very beach feel and I really do like this little starter home but um how are you guys doing today I hope you guys are doing very well um today I'm doing all right tomorrow I am actually going to be going to Toronto so I'm really excited about that um I'm just going to be visiting a friend um and yeah, <laughs> so that's pretty much, like, my life has been kind of, like, preparing around it. So it's kind of like, oh, I've got these things I have to do before that, and I have to do these things after I do that. And I feel like June has just become this one of, like, the really busy months for me because I have to, like, do my, um like my government bursaries for university and by the end of the month and I have to do like driving lessons and I have to do um well on like more things to kind of take care of myself I have to do like get a haircut because that's been a while <laughs> if you have curly hair like me then you'll know that getting haircuts are a bit of a pain and I always just don't want to go and do them but um it's got to get done. Those roots are bad. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so right here, I really want to do that orange roof, but I actually like, I got rid of it in the end. Cause I didn't really want, I didn't really like the orange roof and I don't know, just wasn't about it. But right now I'm just doing a little bit of layouting, just shaping up the house a little bit. Um, I kind of didn't know how I really want to kind of put the rooms, but I think that like, there's a lot of space and, um, especially if it's, for one sim so that was kind of what I had in mind like there is some a little bit more expensive stuff you know like I did get the cheapest bed but um I didn't get like the worst bathtub either you know and I did do like slightly more expensive cabinets and stuff like that because I wanted the really white um cupboards and um, I, you don't have to have two couches and stuff like that and I have like an outside bench so there's a lot of little luxuries that you don't technically need in a starter home but um, I wanted to do a really nice one just because when I did that mini mini medieval starter home I just I didn't really like I liked the outside but I didn't like the inside if that makes any sense I felt like a lot of my money went to the outside and then by the time I went on to the inside I was like oh <laughs> I don't like this but um so I want to focus a little bit more attention to the inside on this one and um, give it a little bit more love and that's why I use like slightly more expensive doors you'll see me switch them out and do it 
um, nicer ones just to give it a little bit more um, definition and um, yeah I don't use like the cheapest like um, couches either like I do ha use like cheap looking couches but not like necessarily like cheap you know like the cheapest like I could have gone with the outdoor retreat like log thing and I didn't have to put that bench on the outside and um, you know I just want to have it to look like like a beach home you know and there's this very summery vibe to it and I think that's a lot of what I really like about this build even though it was very quick I kind of did this in between um, another build that was sort of taking a while and it, like you know how you have like a build that you're doing that's kind of big and it's like kind of exhausting but at the same time you're like you still want to build but you don't want to continue working on that one build that you've been working on for a while <laughs> so this was my like in between one this was my like time to relax listen to sort of like chill music and just sort of make a little build that um challenges me but also I find kind of relaxing and that's kind of what I wanted to do with this build and that's why this video is so short <laughs> because this build only took me about like 40 minutes um, it wasn't that long at all it's not the fanciest build either but um, I figured you know what it's nice to do just a short build every once in a while because I always do really long builds and I thought you know what it'd be nice just to do a little short one a little bit more slow paced a little bit more um, kind of like chill today because that's how I'm feeling <laughs> but um, I have another another build prepared soon the one that I was kind of doing around this um, I don't know what day I'm gonna upload that one but you know it's on it's on the task list list it's on the things to do in the future but um, that's gonna be done but otherwise you know I thought I would do just a nice little build for the weekend just something like kind of chill you know and um, I think as starter homes go I think this is kind of one of my favorites out of the two starter homes I've ever done <laughs> but um, I actually have one of my sims that I've talked about before um, Gene and he's just kind of chilling in this um, in this build, you know, it was, I kind of made it this like nice little like beach home, and I think it actually looks um, really nice on the island of Winn Windenburg. I kind of styled the house to have that sort of off the beach kind of aesthetic, and um, I think you know it's kind of an expandable house too. You can just sort of like attach these like really kind of blocky like rooms off to it, so it's not such a like tiny little house. But um, I don't know, doing this little like cute kind of beach house makes me want to do sort of a similar beach house but on a larger, grander scale. And I think depending if I want to do that or not, I definitely will do it. But um, we're actually coming to the end of the video. I know so soon it startles me too. <laughs> but um, like I've said before in all my videos, feel free to like this video down below and um, you know subscribe to my channel and do all that other like YouTube stuff and whatnot and for more self-promotion <laughs> feel free to um, go on my Twitter and um, follow me there and subscribe to me there um, just because I sort of talk about my builds and I do post like um, kind of some photos and stuff of my builds and I also do the same on my Tumblr I've been kind of neglecting it lately but eh, it's fine <laughs> it's summer <laughs> I want to relax and do nothing but um yeah, and I've also got an Instagram, which I I really should use, I, but I don't. I don't use it all that much, but I do have it. So if you do want to follow me on Instagram, I am there as well. So all of that will be in the description below, and I will see you guys later with my next build. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope that it is a beautiful day like it is for me today and i will see you guys later so bye bye everyone